The grease we use here is a Lucas Oil Products, uh, extra heavy duty grease. Uh, this is a high temperature, not that the unit ever sees high temperature, but it's very tacky. Gets in there and, and does its job. Uh, easiest way for you guys to do is buy you an electric grease gun and you'll get through this greasing in literally 10 minutes. You don't have to hand pump nothing. We're gonna show you how to grease the uh, little Hercules 2.0 here. Uh, we have nine grease fittings in this vicinity area that we're gonna hit today. Um, so our first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna loosen up this pin a little bit so we can get the grease all filled in where it needs to go. Loosen that pin just like that. Then you take your grease gun. We got one grease fitting right on the top here. And then you'll actually see the grease coming out the side here. Zach, if you come over here and check, you'll see the grease that's oozing out the side right there. And that means you got everything for that grease fitting. Now we're gonna come down into the pin here and get this one right here. This one will start oozing out the top and you'll know you got all the grease in there. It's actually coming out the side here too, so we're good. Okay, then we got a grease fitting on the side of the tube here. This is gonna grease the cylinder inside. I say hold it for about 10 seconds and I'll get uh, plenty of grease in there. And then what we're gonna do, since there's a clip in there, we're just gonna, we don't want that to rust up, so we're just gonna Put some extra grease right in there. Take your hand, pat it in. So no salt, nothing like that can get in there. Same with the other side. All right, so now we hit all those. Now we're gonna go to the bottom here. The bottom, there's two more. One right in the pin. Again, hold it for about 10 seconds and you'll start seeing the grease coming out of the pin right there. That's when you know you got all your grease in there. And then the final one in the back here. And this is gonna grease your lower plate. And if you check over here, the grease is starting to come out. So we know we hit the lower plate good enough. All right, next we got a grease fitting in the end of the arm here. We're gonna hit this. This doesn't take much at all. Two seconds, you can see the grease is oozing out on the top there. That means you got the grease in there. It's in that bushing too. Same with this side. One right in the end. Oozing out. We know we got it in there. All right, now you're gonna take your controller and we need to close these arms a little bit. So I can access this grease fitting right there. Get that on there. And then you'll actually see the grease coming out of the bottom and the top. So we know that we got all the grease in the pin and it's coming out the bottom of the bushing. Close this side up some more. And we'll hit this one right here. Grease coming out of the bottom. We know we're good. All right, so that's everything for the upper of the unit. Um, now, let's go underneath. All right, now that we're underneath of the unit, we got six grease fittings that we have to hit down here. I always grease these bottom three with the unit in the down position. We'll start in the middle here. These ones are gonna hold a little bit longer because there's a lot more grease that has to get into this pin. As you can see, it's coming out on that end. That means we're starting to get grease throughout the pin. Now I'm gonna jump over to this side on the bottom. 
Okay, and then we're gonna come back over here to the final one on the bottom. And you'll see the grease that it keeps pushing out, so we're just gonna wipe this excess grease off here. Put that to the side. All right, and then now that we got the bottom all greased, we got two more up here right on the back of the unit. These don't take much either. Hold it for a couple seconds, and you can see the grease piling up on that pin back there. And then we got one more. Oh. One more right here. We use this fluid film here. It's a uh, rust and corrosion protection. We use this on the back of our pin. All you have to do is maybe once a week go under there, spray it on there, and it'll last for that whole week, just so it keeps all the corrosion away. A great thing to do is take a can of this fluid film, which now comes with the unit, and it's in the grease manual as well, but to get all these exposed areas on the pin, that way it can never get surface rust and corrode, and it's gonna be very easy to come out in the future, when and if you have to service the equipment. So all the spots that are exposed, it's in the new owner's manual. If you don't have an owner's manual, please call us. We'll be happy to send you one. All you got to do is climb under here. Let's see, we can, you can see the pin. We already sprayed this one, but as you can see, the pin's coated in it. If it's not, just take it, give it a couple sprays back here and keep that pin looped up with our fluid film. When we grease all our units, we only grease the bottom of the unit. You don't have to do the sides, you don't have to do the top, but we just take our grease gun and we run a couple lines down the bottom. Get this all filled with grease and your bottom twos will be really happy. Same with this one up here. I just do a circular motion, cover mostly all this area. And that's it.